Alright, so I posted videos of my deadbolt, my Chevy, showed you that I got that gladiator. I bought something. So this is the, uh, the Panda Hobbies. Mercedes. Nice thing I like about this is those magnets. So it's got the lighting for the front, the back, and the roof. So you can see the power goes through the magnets there and there. Has a 60 turn motor. And compared to the axial it looks a little sturdier underneath so metal frame there's that plastic now that's a metal frame it's a thicker c channel frame to it looks relatively similar another thing you probably didn't notice it took me a minute that this thing has got portal axles that's pretty freaking awesome. It's got the little receiver there too. So it comes with a 700 milliamp hour battery. Huge. I mean, even these Venoms are 430, um, you know, milliamp hour. The only issue with those Venoms is you can no longer get them. They were 10 bucks. But uh, Ven Venom filed for bankruptcy. They are finished so not even going to be able to get those as a backup I uh, did get this while I was there at Radio Shack the Urgen X 900 milliamp hour not going to do much with uh, most of these unless you got weight and, and size this one is not going to be a problem I'll be able to put that up there no worries but uh, the higher it is the worse it's going to be but, yeah, I mean, pretty cool. As far as getting a servo in there, I haven't really looked at that too much, but um, I'd say it's almost going to be the same as the, um, as the axials. Whether or not that pushes back into the links there, or if I can tighten it down enough, we'll see. Um, but, yeah, I mean, pretty modular. Looks like it shouldn't be too hard to modify. Can take these uh, steps off, adjust them out a little bit more if you wanted. So, yeah, and it's weighty. Feels a little bit tougher, like a dual stage does. So, and knobby, soft tires. I I really don't like the axial tires. People are like, oh, you can mod them and you can cut little pieces out. You know what? I don't want to have to deal with that. So, these are, I mean, just real awesome. I kind of feel disappointed I didn't go with one of these sooner. But uh, Radio Shack just started carrying these here. I'm pretty happy. So, can't wait to get this out and get it on the trail. Uh, remotes. So, there's the original SCX24. This is for the Gladiator. And this is the Horizon Hobby, or not the Horizon Hobby, the, uh, the Panda Hobby. So, it does have a channel 3, so I assume that's lights. Just kind of like on the Gladiator there. Soft, squishy. steering control on it so yeah I'm pretty excited it's got an RC like a, a car style not a truck style wheel on it but whatever you get what you get so we'll uh, test her out detail on this is really decent and it's got the rubber mirrors on it you can see through it got the sunroof
I believe this is going to be a good full spare. Nicer looking shocks on it than the axials. It's like, why are you paying almost as much for a decent brand when some of the quality on this is better? The links look pretty similar, so we'll see. I mean, they look a little bit thinner. Maybe I can swap out some of those. But uh, yeah, just having these um, these portals is going to give you more clearance on them. So I don't know about uh, what I can do for upgrades. We'll have to see where that goes. But I just wanted to put that out there. I just like this so much more. I mean, this is cool and all, but... You know, you got a driver and everything, so it's scale. It's cool. But, um... Yeah. I try to go into some of the details, like stickers. But it just feels so much cheaper. This is, like, lighter than the body of that. Which one would you take?